Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Mourinho, and we're right back into this Road to Glory save with Aston Villa. I see the light that burns! Currently third in the table. We're drifting a bit more off from the top, but we've got an interesting game today. We play Man United, or Man UFC, sorry for copyright, uh, and they are nine points behind us. I would like to go, obviously, back above Liverpool. I don't see that happening with goal difference, but at least level on points. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Today's match, Man United. Let's take a look at our fixtures coming up. We've got these, uh, these two fixtures after Man United. We're Wigan in the Carabao Cup and uh, Crystal Palace in the Premier League before a big break where the World Cup's going on um, before this uh, match at the end of end of December. So this is our team today. Man United going without uh, Eriksen in their starting lineup, but otherwise very strong side. And Aston Villa was still missing Martinez in goal and uh, Dean at left back, Luca Dean at left back. But well, let's see how we get on. Let's get this kicking off. So Man United obviously going with Ronaldo up front. Obviously, there's been no update since he's. Uh, had his contract terminated by them. Well, mutually terminated, let's say. And I don't know, honestly, why we are just booting it up to the Tolly Watkins instead of playing out from the back. Surely. Yeah, I'm asking him to take short kicks and distribute to full-backs and centre-backs. Stop hoofing it, Jed Steer. Have it. Oh, yes. We're not doing very well, so I will be switching to free at the back. Go with Dendonka here. Good, Ted Steele decides to play out from the back properly now. Dendonka's got the ball. Augustinson. Mings will get more time at the back because obviously Ronaldo's not the biggest presser on the planet, is he? He's not got the best teamwork, so our centre backs will get more time at the ball. But it doesn't matter if they give it away like that. Ronaldo's going to play through the Rashford and oh dear, that just looked like a red card, doesn't it? Yes, it is, absolutely. Oh. Christ. <laughs> okay. And now this is going to go into Operation Salvage. McGinn can go on a bit of a wonder down there. Apart from giving the ball away, get it back, good, better. Oh, Jed Steer, what a hospital pass, and that is the easiest goal on the planet. Oh no, God! Jed Steer was having such a good game as well. And he's just absolutely nailed it against the defender here. Look at this mess. <laughs> Boff. And who do who better to clear it to and give a tap into than Cristiano Ronaldo? Possibly the easiest goal for him he's ever scored. One nil down and ten men. Not great. Matty Cash is having a stinker. Apart from the massive calamity, he's been very good. Ericsson's got the ball here and this could be... Called it. 2-0 United. I've had an absolute stinker away from home here. To be fair, they've outplayed us all game. Three nil. That. Come on. Even Harry Maguire scores. No. That's when you know you're having a, a shocker. But the rest have been quite, quite shambolic. Let's be fair. Rashford gets the ball, and that's another one. Yeah. Dundonka realizes he's going the wrong way. 
so yeah, bad second half. <laughs> Would say the first half went quite well, and then Conte got sent off. Uh, this will be genuine water bottle of fire. Shocking. Don't care if you're furious or not. Unfortunately, that's put United only a few few points behind us, six points behind us now instead of nine. I have to say, they might look like one of our biggest rivals. I'm not going to appeal and confirm the fine. You get your fine. Cash asked to this club, club matters. Thinks I was too harsh on them. You got smashed 4 0. No. What do you want? Too harsh. Mm. Fine. I'll be less harsh to you. Cotton wool people in the future. Christ. Chill out, mate. So this will be our team to play today. And we're going to go attacking. Absolutely. Don't care if people are lacking fitness. Pedrinho is going to get his chance. Number 22. It's going to be your squad number, mate. Josh Fiena getting some minutes. Run away at Wigan Athletic. No no meal, real massive uh, household names here. You might recognise James McLean, really. And Will Keane from Man United days. Ben Amos, also former Man United player, but apart from. And Joe Bennett, former Villa player. Not a big fan of his, personally. Go out and get a result. Pedrinho's got the ball, plays it over the top to no one, and we lose the ball instantly. Samson gets it, plays it over the top to Bailey, and this should be a certain goal. Yeah. Speed. I mean, how does Buendia expect to get in over him? Serious, seriously, in all honesty. Samson with the, the wicked ball, he's been playing lovely balls over the top whole match long and Bailey makes no no mistakes so perhaps we should ask McGinn to do a bit more box to box rather than ball winning midfield out doesn't make any difference now Pedrinho over to Watkins back of the net Top top assist from Bailey, top play from Villa, penalty save, back up the other end and get it in the net. Watkins gives it to Pedrinho, Pedrinho passes it around the corner to Bailey and Bailey just first time pass to Watkins, he's been making the run and that is back of the net, 2-0. Uh, two Looks a lot more comfortable than it was to be honest, until we brought on the big guns, struggles Phil. That'll be the end of the match, I imagine. Yeah. 2-0 full-time. So, yeah, we, we've we got a game against Crystal Palace. Going to go attacking this last game before the World Cup starts. So, uh, they've got ex-Aston Villa keeper Sam Johnson in goal. And a Villa, hated villain, uh, Wilfred Zaha. Uh, and Eze, who I've actually brought on my other... I'm over safe for Arsenal if you want to go and have a look at that. Homegrown heroes. Go on and change that. Make it count, guys. That Emmy Martinez is awesome. Don't need to see any of that. Let's go straight into the match. Crack on with beating them. That might come back to bite me. So, yeah, Samson keeps his place into the side. And Coutinho plays it to Archer. And that is back of the net, go on, boys. But no, offside, no. Don't disallow that, please. Disallowed. Useless. <sighs> Pretty gets the ball, and that's back of the net. Leon Bailey. Good assist, but 
it made up for it, for it got a good finish in as well. So Chambers, who's been a good right back for us this season, Matty has been a bit hit and miss to be fair, and Bailey just slots it past the keeper. Oh, Douglas leads straight away to Bailey, who gets the ball in via deflection, I think, making it two 0 Conza gives it to Douglas Lewis, who sees Bailey's run, goes straight onto it. And yes, it does take a deflection, but everyone counts. Yeah, and it is. So final whistle, last game before the World Cup and we win 2-0. Tactical masterclass to stop Olise. Which takes us up to third place in the table before the break. Not bad at all. Um, so, yeah. Aston Villa looking very good for this Champions League spot. Currently. Six point gap over Man United. We're going to see. If we can offer him out. <laughs> 25. See if we get any bids back. So good at 25. So let's see if we can go. Twenty-seven and a half. That's it. Done deal. Danny Ings set to go through to West Ham. 25 million added onto my budget and Danny Ings off the wage bill. Hundred and twenty-five K a week. So our next match will be against Charlton um in the Carabao Cup in the fourth round. Uh, and current news is we've had a bid in for Mokoko and Danny Ings is going in January for 30 million to West Ham. I've been Mourinho and I'll see you next time. Peace out. I can't move on till I let go.